flashback to January of 2023. I'm headed out on a road trip uh, to Bend <clears throat> to drop uh, Schnitzel off at uh, Parnell Auto Works. Um, she, uh, she needs some work and uh, I trust Dave and uh, I'm having him pull the transmission and Synchro Shop in Salem is going to do my transmission and Dave's going to do my motor. Um, so. so filling up with coffee and um, I'm headed to Bend this morning to pick up uh, my transmission because it's out of the van and re ready to be rebuilt. So here we go. After a very scary snowy and icy drive, uh, this is the site that greeted me at Dave's. Engine and transaxle are both out and on the ground. Well, here it is. Here is my synchro transmission. Um, it's not pretty. Um, it, uh, it needs some love, but that's, uh, that's what we're giving it. <clears throat> All right, off to the shop. Okay, made it home, and my wife's Subaru is now worth uh, $5,000 more uh, than it was this morning when we left the house. <laughs> uh, $4,500, $5,000, that's what one of these stupid transmission costs, just as a core charge. Not a, not a rebuilt one, not a, not a redone, but just a core charge, so yeah, yeah, well so i dropped this beast off and it was all bad news like really bad news i shocked and amazed that i made it from eugene to bend which is a little more than 100 miles uphill without this thing grenading underneath me <clears throat> tom at synchro shop had to do a lot of fixing and part of it's because uh the transaxle was rebuilt uh, years ago and rebuilt poorly and it added to its uh, inability to function correctly for the long term Here to pick up the transmission and the uh, new transaxle was worth the wait um, Tom did a fantastic job on this rebuild uh, better than new um, just really really impressed and it, it wasn't cheap um but it's done right and i have every confidence that it'll last for as long as i own the van again truly really happy with the work enjoy the video montage of the engine rebuild by dave and steve uh, they, they work together at parnell auto works um, and taking the engine from trash to amazing So my ride or die, my partner in crime and I are headed to Bend to pick up the van. So it is about a two hour trip and it's going to be baby's first road trip. She's super excited to go. Look at that, already knocking it up. And of course my co-pilot's gonna go with us too. Take a gander. Here she is. Oh, oh. All silicone and steel. Yep, we did the cafe 
uh, Van Cafe silicone hose kit. Very nice. Look at this. We have powder coated the um, you know any of the the metalwork that was oh, normally painted. That's fantastic. That was Look the surprise, that. buddy. That is beautiful. is the day the van is ready i'm gonna take her for a spin oh so dave and steve did an awesome job i am super happy um i'll show you in just a minute they uh they powder coated all my steel parts i uh, it's it's a, it's a little something extra that means a lot to me so uh i am i'm in good company in the parking lot today steve working on his own van okay I'm in the van and she's going on her maiden voyage with the new engine, new transaxle, and the uh, decoupler. So let's see. Well, let's have a look see at the engine. So, all of the steel parts they actually pulled off and powder coated. Super happy about that. Um, we have the Go Westy uh, silicone hoses, so those should last a good long time. Um, of course, Continental belts are all new. Um, wiring has been looked at. Uh, there is a manifold back there that uh, is plastic um, OEM, and we want the Go Westy uh, stainless one. Uh, a little cleanup, and a lot of cleanup. And man, she looks good. Oh, she looks good. Let's uh, let's see how the rest of it looks like underneath. And uh, new reservoirs as well. Uh, so my old one um, was cracked at the seam and I had uh, used a soldering iron and welded it back together um, uh, after a road trip at one point. It just kind of stayed that way. So the fact that I have new ones, really nice. What you see here is the uh, Go Westy stainless steel uh, sport exhaust. And uh, yeah, it sounds so good. I, here, let, let, let me show you what it sounds like. It all came as a kit, nothing had to be welded. It was fully bolted together. Uh, turned out really nice, it really did. And as you can see, there's the exhaust and the engine. And then what is that? Oh, that's a transaxle, she's so pretty. Uh, you can kind of see the decoupler up front, but a uh, fully rebuilt transaxle by Synchro Shop. Um, yeah, I, worth every penny. It was uncheap but really happy with the build there. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, she's out for a spin right now. I am uh, breaking in the motor and the transmission, just the initial like 100 mile break in. And then uh, I'm gonna drain the fluid uh, from the, the transaxle and the engine and put new in. And then we're going to drive her another 500 miles and do it again. And then after that, I'll hit another thousand miles and do it again. And then I think we should be good. Even my pulleys are powder coated. Mm, mm, mm. Man, that looks good. All right, decoupler. Oh yeah. initial transactional and uh, oil drain um, for the trip home just for the first break in fluid change. Headed home. Uh, I got uh, I got my co-pilot here with me. And uh, my wife is following uh, behind in the Subaru and we're connected uh, with the walkie talkie. So be something miles and uh, should be relatively pain free. Let's see. <laughs> Major issues.
issues. <sighs> Van's peppy. Um, yeah, so no mechanical issues. One one little bitty tiny uh, electrical thing, but it may be because it, the van sat for a little while. Um, and then a uh, Speedo cable, I think, came loose. But I, other than that, I, we made it home safe and sound, all four of us. Thank you.